So this is what our paper 3 will look like now in IT. So we're opening up Excel and we're going to start typing up all the stuff. So we did all the stuff here. All right, format the labels in row 1 to Arial, Font, Bold, 12 point and center the data in cells horizontally and vertically. All right, so everything in row 1, I want to change to Arial 12. So I'll go and click highlight them and click Arial. Font size 12. Bold, 12 point. I'll put it bold. Control and B for bold. Click go between the A and the B. Resize the um, columns like that. So to center it in your cells, I have to highlight all of them. And then I have to center them horizontally and vertically. So I have to click the center here and I have to click the center there because okay. I have two centers. Insert a formula and tell E2 to calculate the revenue from sales for cars from the Nissan manufacturer and replicate your formula to sales. To calculate the revenue from sales, I'll just go in and put the opening stock minus closing stock right here. All right, so the amount of stock that you have after you sell, right? So that'll be equal B2 minus C2 multiplied by price yeah multiplied by the price yeah because basically you want to find the difference between these two which is the opening stock and the closing stock then you want to subtract them so that you know you actually sold two cars because the way you start off with and what you have left um and then you multiply it by the price that you have there so we click that enter and we'll get a big number then you have to replicate it because it says replicate your formula replicate your formula um in cells e6 e3 to e6 so basically i will click the fill handle and pull that down in the range a8 to a9 enter the following text a8 to a9 total revenue average revenue then insert appropriate functions in b8 and b9 which will compute the total and average revenue for the of the sales for all um vehicles total revenue is equal to um sum open bracket sum of revenue from sales so I highlight in that sum and revenue from sales and i'll put enter there and then the average revenue will be average average open brackets um same revenue from sales e2 to e6 highlight that and i'll calculate it and boom i'll get the average Great. Um, then insert appropriate functions in range. Right. Apply currency and two decimal places to the data in D2 to E6. We are applying currency. So we go and click and then we're going to choose currency. And it says two decimal places. Does it have two decimal places? Yep. It's, it already comes out two decimal places. But just in case it's a little put like one decimal place, you can just click the little, um, the little decimal numbers here. These three zeros. Increase decimal or decrease decimal. So I could decrease the decimal to one decimal place or increase it to one decimal place so basically i'm going to have a worksheet so i'm gonna add a new sheet and i'm gonna name the sheet sales right so this is what i should have right link the missing value in cell b6 with cell b8 from the stock sheet okay so this first sheet supposed to be named stock so i'm naming that stock by double clicking on the sheet at the bottom there and i'll stock it all right cool all right so i'll put the value for total revenue so basically I have to get this value from this sheet into this cell on that sheet. All right, so I put an equal sign, and I had to put the name of the sheet. Or I could click on the sheet and then click on the value and then press enter, and it will pull it across. Or if I wanted to, I could type equal sign, the name of the sheet, stock, exclamation mark, and then the cell that I want to keep it from. So now I've linked it. Filter the revenue data for the quarters where the revenue was less than 100. $1 million, set up the extraction range and a blank area in the stock sheet in the dealership workbook. All right, so this is our advanced filter. Advanced filters are not very simple all the time. So I'm going to click data and I'm going to click um, advanced filter, copy the headings, put it at the bottom. And what I'm looking for is revenue greater than one million one two one two three four five six that's six zeros right right so let's go back to the advanced filter now advanced filter list range so i want to filter out anything from this thing here the list the dazi list range criteria range will be this here because of dazi um quarter and revenue and then do i want to copy to a particular location yes i want to copy to another location and I'm going to put it at E12. Let's see what happened here. Right. So yeah. So this is the filter. It filters out anything that's over 1 million. 
no issues there and then i click save save your thing with the file name look at it look at the file name dealership candidate number 